So Call of Duty 2020 is now official and Activision has now confirmed that they will be revealing the next Call of Duty game probably this week during the PlayStation State of Play. Now Activision tweeted out something really interesting on their Twitter which says it is official looking forward to showing you guys what we are working on with Raven Studios. Now this tweet was posted by Treyarch who seemed to be working on the next Call of Duty game alongside Raven Studios. So this year's Call of Duty is being developed by two massive studios Treyarch and Raven which has never been done before in any other Call of Duty games after Modern Warfare 3. Now Activision hasn't really shared any more information other than the official confirmation but we already have leaks that we can look up to which says that the next Call of Duty 2020 is going to be called the Call of Duty Cold War. And it is going to be a game that will be set during the Vietnam Wars and will be a continuation of the original Call of Duty Black Ops series. And yes that's right we might finally get to see a proper little sequel to the story of Frank Woods and Maison who are my most favorite characters in the Call of Duty history. Now one of the most asked questions from the community is on when we will be getting to see the official reveal trailer and the release date. Well speaking about the brand new trailer and the release date though I honestly believe that Call of Duty Cold War could be revealed tomorrow on Thursday during the PlayStation State of Play live event. Where Sony has already confirmed that they are going to be revealing a bunch of third party games including some of the third party exclusives and we already know that Activision and Sony have exclusive contracts signed in so seeing the next Call of Duty being announced on the State of Play event wouldn't really surprise me to be honest. But on the other hand though we have a fairly reputed video game reporter named Shinobi who has now stated that Activision will not be revealing the next Call of Duty game this Thursday on the PlayStation State of Play. And to be honest though that kind of does make sense because the Activision CEO has said that Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone has the highest number of player base that you could have ever seen in any other Call of Duty game. And this is the first time that Call of Duty game has ever reached 75 million players all around the world and they now have player base in every single region around the world which is considered as the highest amount of numbers that Call of Duty game has ever seen and the head of Activision has already said that due to the massive success of Modern Warfare and Warzone they have now reconsidered on how they're going to be marketing their future games starting from now. So we might actually get to see much more free to play content like what we have seen with Warzone rather than just putting a lot of things behind paywall like we have seen in any other Call of Duty games. Now just imagine if Activision decides to make all the DLC expansions and zombie game mode completely free. Now I know that they've already done the DLC expansions to be completely free on the modern warfare and that has already shown a massive spike in the amount of player base and people actually love when games give them free expansions, DLCs without actually putting them behind any paywall walls like the previous Call of Duty games have been doing so far which is why we now have 75 million players who are playing Call of Duty Mon Warfare and Warzone. Now Activision CEO has also said that the new Call of Duty game will be connected to Warzone. So maybe they are planning to make dynamic live events and change the experience of Warzone similar to how Epic Games does things with Fortnite Battle Royale where Epic Games kind of adds in new stuff every season and there's always something new when it comes to Fortnite and now they've confirmed that Warzone will still continue as a standalone Battle Royale game and the game will still keep getting updates and will be continued with the upcoming Call of Duty Cold War as well. Now I would love to know what do you guys think about this, are you guys excited for the next Call of Duty reveal and what setting are you guys expecting to see in the next Call of Duty game. Keeping the leaks of Cold Wars aside though what do you guys think the next Call of Duty could actually be. Would you guys like to see a Call of Duty Cold War set in Vietnam which is a continuation of the original Black Ops story or would you guys like to see something else like a Modern Warfare 4 maybe let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and I will make sure to go ahead and read each and every one of your comments and also answer as many of you guys as possible. Now if you guys enjoy the content and want to show support to my channel then you can always take a few seconds of your time and leave a like rating as your support can help me bring out more videos for you guys every single day. Now if you guys enjoyed today's video and want to see more of Call of Duty 2020 and all the upcoming open world games content then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss out on my daily videos. With that being said I hope you guys have a blast of a day and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video till then take care fans and goodbye.